how to make my home cozy and inviting? This is a common question that I receive over and over again. I want to tell you that you can create a cozy space using basic and inexpensive elements. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Saira Kuri. I'm an architect, interior and lighting designer. When it comes to interior design, we tend to focus on aesthetics rather than the feelings and sensations that we want to create in our spaces. A home is where our heart is. We deserve a living space that is warm and cozy. Whether you're a minimalist, maximalist or someone in between. You can make your home inviting with these universal tips that I will share with you today. Guys, please remember to smash the like button to support my content and this channel. Let's see the five principal aspects to consider to create your dream home. I'm sure you will love them. Are you ready? Let's get started. Lighting is an excellent mood changer in a space. So working with color and texture, light can change a color or texture's temperature, intensity, and saturation, creating different moods without changing the surface material. If you aim to have a cozy home, you'll need warm and soft lighting. Look for LED lights with a 3000 Kelvin degree, commonly known as yellow or warm light. Stay away from 5,000 or more Kelvin, as these are the colder light qualities. I know that many of you don't like the yellowish lighting tone, because it changes the colors and the perception of the space. And it's true, I don't like either, as general lighting. For this reason, I like to have the ceiling mountain light in a neutral color temperature and I add table and floor lamps with warm temperatures in different points of my room to turn it on when I want to create a cozy mood at night. Playing with the different lighting layers, I can easily change a space and use the lamps that I already have at home. Another solution to change the mood of your home, depending on the atmosphere that you want to create, consider smart lighting. To adjust the lighting temperature and intensity to achieve any mood you want at any time. Today there are many affordable options, I leave you my favorites in the description box below. Another important thing to consider about lighting is to use lamps with screens to soften up the projection of the light. Trust me, this will immediately change your space into a cozier one. Remember that you should layer your light depending on your space function, size and desired feel. Don't forget to add the main types of light, ambient lighting, task lighting, and accent lighting. If you still don't know how to achieve it, I recommend that you watch my video about lighting design 101. There I explain everything you need to know about lighting up a space like a pro. I will leave you the link up here and in the description box below. My last recommendation about lighting is to add candles. Candles can be a cozy addition to your home and you can use them sparingly in your bedroom, bathroom and living areas. The best part is that it is budget friendly, brings a good smell to the space and enhances your decor when displaying it in attractive candle holders. A good design goes beyond the aesthetic aspects and how we perceive it through our senses can improve our life quality. So we need to use all the ways and stimuli to achieve the mood and vibe that we want. Stimulating our olfactory senses is an easy and quick way to make our home feel cozy and relaxed. Have you ever experienced coming into a friend's home where they open the door and their houses smell so welcoming and so relaxed? And you wonder how do they make their home smell so amazing? You can have those happy scents in your own home by adding essential oils, diffusers, air fresheners, candles, 
fresh flowers or any way that you like. Scents that make you feel warm and happy include cinnamon, sweet orange, cedarwood, pine, but my top favorites are lavender, chamomile, jasmine, rose, and vanilla because their scent may slow down the nervous system, which relaxes the body and mind. If possible, make sure to use chemical-free scents and don't saturate your space with the scent juice because it can provoke a contrary effect. Also, often open your windows on multiple sides of your home to get a cross breeze because it makes your entire space feel cleaner and helps lift the mood in your home. By the way, if you love design and get inspired, catch me on Instagram. There I share many tips and tricks about interior design, lighting design, trends, and architecture. I would love to see you there. Color has been proven to affect our mood and health, making it an effective way to make our spaces intimate and cozy. Warm colors are inviting, happy, and cozy. We love the concept of open space and high ceilings, right? But while it brings an airy feel, it can also make a room look empty and cold. In these cases, using warm colors will help visually close in the space, making it feel intimate because warm tones seem to advance, creating a cozy feel. On the other hand, in small spaces, I recommend using light, warm tones because darkest tones make space appear smaller because they seem to advance. And in this case, we don't want to do this. If you're hard on picking a color for your accents, choose a color scheme from any of your room elements with the largest patterns. For example, you've got a large rug with terracotta color patterns. You can tie your elements by finding furniture, wall art, or pillows with the same color family. This way you get a cohesive and warm interior. Without a doubt, warm neutral serve as a perfect background for all trends focused and inspired by nature and relaxation. By the way, if you want some inspiration on selecting warm colors, check out my video on color trends. There you will find color palettes created by me that can serve as inspiration. I will leave you the link up here and in the description box below. Adding organic elements like plants and flowers is a great way to live and up a home. Even a modern aesthetic that is clean and futuristic can benefit by adding something alive to the scene. Natural plants also function as air purifiers. Living a space is no good if the air quality is poor. Strategically placing plants around the home can create the illusion of a space that has life to it. Also, it is a great way to add texture, shape, a pop of color and contrast to your decor. Also, the use of natural and rustic materials such as wood, rattan, terracotta, cane webbing is an excellent option to bring nature inside. Another idea on adding nature inside is to include a fishbowl to hear the water movement or add plants outdoor, especially in the areas that you have windows to have something beautiful to look at from your interior. Also, something that I like to do is to bring the sound of birds home. I bought a birdhouse and food. I place it near the huge window of my dining room, where I have a small garden. It's so relaxing to hear and see the birds when taking breakfast. I essentially have a living portrait composed of plants, colors, movements, and sounds. Mornings are my favorite time of the day. Bringing nature inside is very important, especially if we live in urban zones and apartments. Be creative and create an amazing and cozy space using nature. Although sometimes overlooked, textures, when properly executed, can do much more in the overall look and the feel of your space. Sensations can make a big difference. 
Fill in the texture of the floor mats with your bare feet. The soft cotton of your pillows and furniture is a very appropriate way to relax. Choosing products with high quality and natural materials, such as cotton or velvet, is essential for feeling comfortable and perceive your room as a cozy one. So include tactile textures that provide a pleasant and soft feeling when touching it. Imagine having a beautiful cushion or sofa, but it makes your body itch due to its texture. Make no sense. So when incorporating texture into your space, think about how it looks and how it feels upon touch. Let's see some easy and budget-friendly way to make your space cozy using textures. One of the common ways to make a room look cozy through texture is adding different fabrics. Include throw blankets to add another layer of texture to your decor. Mix and match different colors and patterns that you love to create a more custom feel. Adding cushions is probably the easiest and the cheapest way to make a home cozy, especially in your living room and bedroom. You can pick three to four dominant colors, then mix them with two different pattern cushions. Another important element to consider is rugs. It avoids the rush of cold on your bare feet in your bedroom and living room. Use rugs especially if you have concrete or tiles. Guys, take paper and pencil and let's recap what we learned today on how to create a cozy home. Add warm and soft lighting. Use different lighting layers and don't forget to use lamps with a screen to soften up the light. Stimulate your olfactory scents with pleasant odors such as lavender, chamomile, jasmine, rose, vanilla, and so on. Use warm colors on your wall and decor. Remember that warm tones seem to advance, creating a cozy and inviting feel. Bring nature inside. Remember to add organic elements like plants, flowers, natural materials, and even the sound of nature. Include tactile textures that provide a pleasant and soft feeling when touching it. Did you see how simple it is to make your home feel cozier? Just cleverly use the things you have and add some details that are not even expensive. Remember that your home should evoke positive feelings and emotions in you. Focus on including the things you learned today without forgetting to follow your style and the things you like the most and identify you as a person. If you liked this video, I will appreciate it if you smash the like button because it's a great way to support my channel and my content. Also, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to learn more about design and get inspired, I recommend that you watch these two videos next. This is all for today, guys. Have a beautiful week. See you in the next one.